Okay, an estate agent for numero six stores details about the properties for sale on a computer system. Ooh. Property market. For each of the following items, name the most suitable data type. That is a rectangle, I promise. Now we're doing it for each of them. We can't skip any. Right, now there are three primitive data types. You've got your numbers. You've seen a lot of them around. You've got your logical, and you've got your text. Okay, numbers split into two categories. You've got integers or whole numbers. You've got your floats or your decimals or your reals, no matter what you call it, as your part of numbers, so your decimal numbers. Logical, there is only one choice. It's Boolean, and yes, that capital B is important. And text, you've either got your string, which stores a load of different alphanumeric characters, or you've got your character that stores just the one. So, number of bedrooms. Well, I haven't got two and a half bedrooms, so I've got a whole number of bedrooms. So I'm going for an integer. Uh, postcode for the property. Well, if we think of the school postcode, even the start of it gives the clue away. Uh, we've got the fact that we've got a mix of letters and numbers. There's more than one, so I'm going to go for a string. Whether the property is still for sale or not. Oh, they give you the answer. It's one of only two. It's a logical. It's either true or it's false. It's a boolean. Council tax band A, B, C, etc. One single piece of text, so it's a character. Woohoo! You might want to know the benefits and drawbacks of each, and if you draw the diagram... Ooh, this one here. Draw it nice and big, put an example of each of them afterwards. So show them what they look like in code or at least pseudocode. Okay, data types done. Well, we haven't marked it. Tick, 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 boom.